first time I have had reception in a long time. I don't know. <laughs> You're looking a little red there, <laughs> There's so many marches here that's part of me. We're at the turn off. Going to Derby, eh? Yep. So that is the road that takes you up to Mitchell Plateau and Drysdale River. Um, from what we researched, they don't really recommend taking vans up there, so we've decided to give it a miss this time. And also it's like a few days, definitely like a few days detour sort of thing. So um, where we've decided being this late in the season with the heat and stuff that we're going to give it a miss, but it looks really cool. So one day I'd like to come back and do it. We'll see how we go. Little Miss is up. We're having a play. We're doing some reading. We've got a little book stash here, which is handy. And a little bit of chewing on daddy's hat. Still. We're still driving. We were talking actually, um, just going back to that Mitchell Falls sort of thing. We were talking about sort of good setups and future and whatever. And we reckon like if you had like swags or a tent or a rooftop tent or something as well as the van, that'd be a pretty good setup for doing this sort of stuff because you could, you know, leave the van even there at that rest stop. And, and charge up that road, just camping in the tent or in the rooftop tent or something. So that might be something we look at in the future, even for doing like the old telly track. And because there are like going in the future, like we do, we we like remote travel and, and sort of these off-road tracks and stuff a lot better than sort of just traveling around on the bitumen. So being able to actually like drop the van off and go and explore sort of places where we wouldn't want to really take the van would be would be awesome like that, yeah I think, that, sure. I think that would be like yeah so i think in the future that's probably what we'll look at doing like either just chucking some swags on the roof um or some sort of some sort of setup not really sure yet but because i do want to put a tinny up there so i don't, I don't know anyway. <laughs> not enough room for all the things we want on there but yeah the only thing with that is um you obviously have to be a little bit careful about where you leave your van and all that stuff but yeah you make your own judgment about that but was it friends We are at the Gibb River Road station, which is a bit exciting. Apparently it's the halfway point along the Gibb River Road. Got in here quite quick, eh? Hey? Well, we're uh, charging in here to get a bit of fuel and hopefully a loaf of bread <laughs> to get us by. Bloody starving. I do have that one scone, so I will smash that, but. Beautiful. Cool little spot. So this is Han River Camp where we're stopping for lunch. And the van looks like it's fared pretty well again. Not too bad. Chopping ball's fallen off. Normally we have it up there on the non-slip. And the front of the stove um, cover keeps coming off. We've had that problem even on not so dirt roads. But you can see the dust. You can definitely see the dust. But that's okay. Not too bad. So we'll set up and we'll have some lunch. So we've had a bit of um, a mixed bag for lunch. We had wraps with fried corn and bits and pieces, cheese. Mm. And Lila's having leftover snags and veggies, mm. which is pretty yummy. Yeah, I think we drew the short straw there. We, we did. You know, she snags definitely and got veggies the better <laughs> But I'm really, really enjoying um, dates with coffee. Mm. If you are restricted on diet, or it's just they're easy to store, which is good too. Yeah, like but they're um, really yummy. Lila likes them too, don't you, baby? <laughs> oh. ah. You be careful chewing a whole date. Chew. Maybe we should break it in half for you. Can I have a bat? <laughs> take, you take munch two. it, bite it. Um, um. Trying to bite my fingers. Um. That's better, good girl. It looks like there's not a whole lot of free camps from here till sort of like past Manning Gorge. 
Um, we are planning at this point to stay at March Flag Glen, which is a free camp um, yeah. near the turn off to Bell's Gorge. So, not 100% sure. Mm. We do need fuel. Yeah. So, Mount Barnett. As you would have seen, we pulled into that little. Uh, mm. Gibb River Road station and that was closed so we're hoping to get fuel there which is anyway I think there's another, another roadhouse or something yeah Mount Barnett up. Roadhouse seems to be not too far away um, and that should have fuel hopefully so I don't know maybe we'll even head there maybe look at the gorge as it gets cooler in this afternoon and maybe camp there mm. there is a free camp on wiki camps I saw so um, as you can see our days are like we plan to a, to a certain degree, but um, then we sort of wing it to try and base it around Lila's nap time. So um, we'll stay here for an, another, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes and have a play with Lila. And then it will be heading into her next nap time. Um, so we kind of need to drive, or we would like to drive for like another hour um, because we're just finding in the heat, like right now the ambient temperature here in the van is 37 degrees. So we're just finding in the heat it's a lot easier and better for Lila if she has her naps in the car with the aircon on um, rather than trying to nap in this heat. Um, oh. So yeah, we'll try and drive for another hour and then we might camp um, oh. potentially near Mount Barnett. But yeah. We've said it a hundred times and anyone you know who's done a little bit of research has probably come across it before. But if you're new to the channel and you're new to sort of looking at trip planning around Australia, absolutely get wiki camps the app it's like eight bucks or something like that and it is a gold mine like we our whole trip planning is based mm. off wiki camps and Everything. most people you talk to are doing the same like yeah. so everyone's contributing on there reviewing things mm. adding new pins you can it's find a, campgrounds yeah. points of interest i would goals. honestly like honest to god i'd probably pay a hundred bucks for that app literally i think i would pay more yeah I'd buy it for a hundred bucks every every day of the week. I would yeah. buy that, and it's eight dollars. So any, $8. It, it is. And is yeah. it, it's a we have we have no sponsorship or anything no. from them. This is just yeah. You got to get it. It's, it's so useful. So bloody useful. Is it eight dollars one off payment or is it once a year? I think it's no, one I'm pretty off. sure it's just one off. Yeah, Wiki Camps. You should up your price because that bloody. Yeah. I mean, sorry to everyone that doesn't have it already, but yeah, it is like. The most we legit would we would app. pay a yearly or monthly subscription to it. No, yeah. no worries. Yeah. Anyway, we won't uh, we won't talk too much about it because we don't want to because we have no money. But <laughs> it is really good. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, go and get yourself that one while it's uh, Lila. While they have it cotton on to the gold mine that they are. Yeah. So, Roos is um, filling up our water, we're at um, Mount Barnett Roadhouse and Lai is having a little walk around, doing some bird watching. <laughs> Can you hear the birds? Yes. Shade's nice. Oh mate, I can't wait to get in the water. Apparently mm. there's like a swimming hole over here where you can swim um, before you go and do the gorge walk. So we're thinking in the morning we'll go and do the Manning Gorge walk. Savo, I would love to get in for a quick swim. Me too. Lila too, she's getting all dusty. Yeah, we just met some people over here and they were saying they camped there last night and there's apparently not many people out there tonight. Like I said, everyone's left. So. He was saying that they actually, the, the roadhouse here is, they're closing, not the roadhouse, but they're closing the campground in two weeks. So apparently once it's over 35 degrees out here, um, they close it because it's too hot. Like they have lots of issues with tourists. Wow. Friggin, 
don't heat know, stroke. heat stroke and yeah, stuff. So yeah, yeah, we're, we're sort of like the last, I guess. Like this is just what he was saying that the lady, in the lady in the roadhouse said. So I don't know how factual it is, but apparently we're sort of the last crumbs coming across. Mm. <laughs> um, oh, and then everything's starting that's to close. some good climbing. You be careful because it's slippery. Hey, Miss Monkey's at it again. Oh, Oy. goodness me. Hey. Well <laughs> oh, she looks so there. proud of herself. I like that. Hey. I don't know about that. Come over here. You come and show us your walking. to show you guys we've i think we showed you in a different video but anyway this is our little vacuum cleaner um we we use milwaukee simply because reese already had all the batteries from his tools um but whatever vacuum cleaner you decide to get i am denied about a vacuum cleaner 100 percent bring a vacuum cleaner i'll take you into the light definitely bring a vacuum cleaner each time we've stopped even for lunch we had so much dust in the van even with our attempt at dust proofing that i just do a quick vacuum on the floor um, and it makes life a lot easier. There's a, le a lot less mess inside. So if you only had a broom, which is what I thought we were originally gonna take, that just wouldn't work very well. You'd just be like kicking the dust up into the air and it wouldn't, you wouldn't be getting it out of the van. So definitely bring a vacuum cleaner. So we're just setting up as quick as we can, pretty much a basic setup. I've just done a quick vacuum. Um, and then we're gonna go and have a swim, not all the way up in the gorge, but apparently there's like a little swimming hole at the start of the gorge walk. So um, we're super keen to get cool because it is still quite hot. Anyway, we'll take you to show you the swimming hole. Um, campground looks really nice. It's really level. We didn't even have to use the ramps or anything, which is awesome. And um, pretty nice and quiet, lots of shade. So this one is Manning Gorge Campground. It was, how much was it, Reese? Uh, it was 25 per person per night yeah. for the first night and then 15 per person for the second night for some reason. I don't know if you could hear that. 25 per person for the first night and a, like 15 or something per person for any night after that. So um, definitely not a free camp, but um, super close to the gorge. And there aren't many free camps from what we could see between Han River and Bell Gorge. So <laughs> this is where we're staying. <laughs> How good is this? Just heading down for a quick Arvo swim because we've been cooking all day. It's such a nice little spot. We got spot. a sneaky tip from someone we met when we were filling up water. So just there it looks beautiful but it kind of drops off. They said if you go up to the side a little bit, it's more like a sandy shallow area like better for kids. So we're going to try and scope that out so Lila can sort of crawl around on the shore. How is that? So when you get down to the gorge, if you've got little kids like us, walk up to the left um, and you'll find this little sandy beach, which is so much better for your kids. Lila is loving it. Is it good? Good morning. Morning, Lai. What are you up to? I'm a good play. She helped me make some pancakes um, batter this morning. Oh, Help best. slash hinder. <laughs> So after a little bit of a cruisy morning finishing off our pancakes, we headed down to start the Manning Gorge walk. 
The walk actually starts just down the river from where we were swimming yesterday. You actually have to cross the river though to start the walk. So they've got these blue half drum boats that you can use to get uh, bags or small children <laughs> across to keep things dry. So we put our bag in, we put Lila in and we paddled it across and that was the start of the walk. This is where our footage gets really broken so we only have a little snapshot of it there for you to see but uh, there is a little bit more footage of the rest of the walk and what the gorge looks like so enjoy. <laughs> So we're just making our way up from the boat. We have no idea if we're going in the right direction. Like there's not really. It's kind of a, tr a little bit of a, like trodden grass patches, which I'm assuming is the track. Sarah's uh, currently the bush tracker at the moment, looking for any signs of broken sticks, pushed over grass. <laughs> we, we have no idea, like you can't. There's like no markers or anything. Anyway, it definitely looks like people have walked, like walked this way. And I've decided to run the crocs, so I'm not sure if I'm going to regret that or not. Sarah's gone slip on boots, thinking that might have been a better option, but anyway, time will tell. Oh, look, markers. Oh, okay. I think, I think it looks like someone's come through here. <laughs> Okay. Look out to the range behind too. Quite pretty. Pick the pace up a bit, it's getting pretty hot. We don't want to keep Y out here too long. I mean, she's got plenty of sun cream on and everything, but it's, it's bloody hot, so. Sort of power walking through, try and get in the water and get back before the day gets on too too far. I think we started around 7.30. Um, so obviously we got into it pretty early, but yeah, by the time we get here, have a swim and stuff, it'll be sort of getting towards the middle of the day, so foot down, try and get up here, have a swim and get back. Pack up. There's not that many people there. But I tell you what, I'm actually struggling a little bit. It's yeah. really hot already. It's oh. like, it's like what? Probably close to 8.30. And it is so hot. So if I did it again, I would leave at 6.30, not 7.30. Because I'm a bit worried about the walk back again. It's going to be really hot. But that's okay. We're almost there. figured out the zipper so we have had some lunch we walked back from the gorge which was so beautiful but definitely really really hot in the middle of the day so the walk back was like scorching definitely recommend doing it early or late don't do it too much in the middle of the day I mean it's hard because by the time you've swam and stuff it is kind of middle of the day so we'd probably go a little bit earlier if we were to do it again 
Um, but we're just packing up and heading down um, toward Bells Gorge. We haven't 100% decided where we're going to stay yet, but we're thinking um, we will skip Galvin's um, purely because it's so hot and we feel like um, it's enough sun time for Lila for the day. So yeah, we're going to cruise on down toward Bell and see where we decide to camp. <laughs> the track up if you continue along that road a little bit it's that free camp that I was mentioning March Fly Glen which is meant to be good apparently the name is is not so accurate I was a bit turned off by the name but we had friends that stayed there not long ago and they said it was fine so um, that's an option but we're gonna head up and stay at this paid campground from the reviews I think it was $17 per adult per night so um, 34 bucks or whatever it's not too bad so yeah regulator on the top of these bloody curry powder things. What are you making? Uh, just the old faithful curry, man. I'm gonna smoke these marchies, eh? They're, there's so many marchies here that just pump at me. So we didn't camp in March Flag Glen, but Silent Grove seems to also have a lot of marchies. <laughs> Silent Grove, man. Quick cuzza. Quick curry. I don't know. Dust all over your face. Can you wave and say hello? Hey, <laughs> who's that in the picture? Who's that? Oh. <laughs> Well, we've just figured out recently. If, little hot tip for you if you are coming up this way to this campground. This is the first time I've had reception in a long time on Optus. And Telsha haven't and Telsha hasn't had that. Do you have reception? No reception. Um, I don't think so. Don't know, but I got like full bars 4G. So one for Optus. One for Optus hasn't been many, mm. but Caragini a little bit. Not mm. very much, and um, here, Silent Grove. Yeah, so it definitely does pay off once in a blue moon to have one phone on Telstra, one phone on Optus, because yeah, I got full bars, like, mm. I'm cranking over here by myself, listening to tunes, watching <laughs> YouTube, and Sarah's just over here in the, in the black zone, in the dark zone, so, <laughs> oh, that one. Your flame's gone out, Reese. Anyway, hot tip for you. Optus for the win for the first time ever. Is it a bit hot? Get some water. <coughs> I think it's too hot. <coughs> <laughs> Is it too hot? Which spicy? Bit spicy. Those little baby taste buds are getting the hiding. Mm. <laughs> it's spicy, is that? So, Lila is such a good eater. We've we've been giving her all sorts of like family foods for the last I don't know few months. Reese has made it, the curry like a little bit spicier a bit spicy. than intended. I'm sweating a little bit here. <laughs> Me too, and Lila's doing so well. She is. She's got some watery eyes out there. Right? I think we might um, supplement this dinner with something a bit less hectic for yeah. you. That's right. I'll Do you polish. want more? You want more. She's not. You like it? She's a weapon. She's um. She's such a good eater. I'm bloody on fire. Yeah, <laughs> you're looking a little red there, Reese. <laughs> yeah, I'm sweating. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> She's touching her tongue. Oh, baby. I don't think you'll have any more. We'll get you something else, hey? Mm, have some water. <coughs> That's a bit hard, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> another morning, another gorge. We're, uh, we've just gotten up. It's about 7.30. We didn't get away as early as what Sarah would have hoped. 
Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I may have been laying around a little bit this morning. I was a bit tired, but anyway, we're on the road at 7.30. Um, we're all psyched. We're going to Bell's Gorge, Bell Gorge. Yeah, Dalamani, um, I think its um, traditional name is. Dalamani. So yeah, we're going up to check that out. <clears throat> Hopefully get a little swim in, because it's another hot one. Um, 28 degrees at 7.30. Yeah. So it should be a very hot day again. But it's, yeah, it's there beautiful is... right now. <clears throat> yeah, there's a bit of a breeze up too, so um, that's something, I guess. Yeah, it? yeah, it'll be, it should be really nice. Yeah, but then we're actually sort of we're actually sort of hightailing it to Broome at the moment. So um, yeah, I might be doing a little bit of work over there in the next sort of week or two. So we're sort of hightailing it there. We've probably got one or two more days <clears throat> on the gib. National oh, Park Campground near the um, Winjana Gorge, I think, is the is the like um, National Park Campground closest to it. So we'll probably try and get a spot there. Yeah. So yeah, we'll head there, and then we're going to shoot to Broome, um, which yeah may have lined up a pretty pretty exciting little job. So anyway, that's pretty well the plan for today. Definitely could change, as you've probably seen. Um, but for now, we're going to the gorge and then we're heading towards Winjana Gorge. Stay tuned. Look at that. A bit of breeze. It's so nice, that bit of breeze is coming through here. It is lovely. I haven't had any breeze in a while. Huh? Not a good breeze, like this. No. No. Uh, they change the feel out Yeah, I know. Bit of a grind. So it's a bit of a rock scramble down. That's alright. Can we give it a crack? Absolutely. She doesn't usually transition well from something else into the car seat, so we're very excited about that. So we're heading back, we're going to pack up, hitch up, and then head toward um, 
Winjana Gorge Tunnel Creek, so last stop. Good. Oh. Not bad. It is, isn't it? Mm. Well, a few people reviewed it saying they had a nice swim, but it's, it's definitely not swimming. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'd be swimming in there. But it's beautiful. We've got such a nice shady spot. It's called Apex Creek Rest Area. Mm. Really nice rest area. Like, yeah. The shade, it's great. Yeah, it's a beautiful little spot. I mean, there's not much here, but it's in terms of like, it's quite hard to find shade out here in some spots. So, in terms of like, good little spot for lunch. We've got this big old tree here. And it's actually like a really... It's a, it's a really nice temperature in here, actually. Like, it's not overly hot. It's warm, but I don't know. I think, do you reckon the temperature just seems a lot cooler? I guess we've got a bit of a breeze. Yeah, there is a bit of a breeze, which is really nice. Mm. It's still hot, like, the breeze is hot, but yeah. it's um, still cool. Yeah, and mm. over here, we've got, so we ran the gauntlet. We ran the gauntlet a little bit in the car. We was, you know, we were spruiking earlier about the transition from, um, oh, there's a dead cane toad. A dried out old frog. That thing. Wow. Anyway. Um, so yeah, we were spruiking about transitioning her straight into the car. Well, she was in her swimmers and without, they were dry, but we hadn't put a nappy on her because we obviously didn't want to wake her up. Anyway, we're paying for that now. So here's the uh, here's a car seat we've got, we've taken out. Luckily, it's got like this um, liner, so we, she uh, she did a bit of a wee in there. So we've got that out. We've washed that out, letting it dry out in the sun. And yeah. Anyway, other than that, it's not too too bad. Yeah. No serious damage. No serious damage, eh? And she's fizzing because she's had a good sleep. She's on top she of the world. She had such a good sleep. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, we'll finish up here. We'll I guess we'll probably hang out here for another half or something, um, refuel a bit, and then head on to Winjana Gorge. And I think we're thinking, we're not sure, we've got to be in Broome tomorrow, late tomorrow, so we're thinking that um, we'll either get to Winjana Gorge and quickly set up and then go to Tunnel Creek um, and have a look at that, because we're just not sure time-wise how we're going to go, but yeah, we'll we'll take you along anyway. So we'll we'll either go to Winjana and then sh straight shoot to to Tunnel Creek and have a look the Sava, or we'll have a bit of a chill on the Savi and and go early in the morning and then come back and pack up and head to Broome. So yeah, that's where we're at. set up we've been for a little stroll through the gorge but we forgot to take the camera so sorry guys you're gonna miss that one <laughs> it was really really beautiful and quite different from the other gorges on the gib we found um, it's an old Devonian reef so this was all underwater at one point um, and it's been up uplifted um, as like the tectonic plates moved and obviously the sea has changed as well so um, really interesting there's fossils and stuff and there are so so many little um, freshwater crocs it was a really cool little walk we only did like i don't know 15 minutes in or something we didn't do like the full walk um but yeah heaps of people have just walked in for sunset which we would do but just becomes a little bit tricky with miss lie so we um we tend to stay at home for sunset most times I mean, it's we do we, we park sort of right near the right near the end of the campground so we've got a pretty epic view of the sunset which we're excited about Lisa has cooked up a um, chicken stir fry and whatever's left in the yeah. covered type meal. And yeah, we're just gonna have some dinner and watch the sunset. Well, 
if you've made it this far, good on you. We know this one was a bit of a long one and a little bit higgledy piggledy because of some of our missing footage from our broken hard drive. But we've had such a good time on the Gib and it's been so good sharing it with you guys. This was part four of the four part series of us crossing through the Gib River Road. If you like this video, consider subscribing to our channel down below. It does really help us out. And it's so good to see so many of you guys commenting and sharing your thoughts and your experiences at the Gib and other places that we've travelled. So thanks so much for engaging with our channel. We can't wait now to show you some more of WA. We're headed back to the coast. We're pretty excited to be back to the beach soon. <laughs> so stay tuned and we can't wait to share that with you. Thanks so much, guys.